It was not the usual unveiling of a major work of art, and this time the Van Goghs were going nowhere, Italian police holding tight as they revealed that the painting stolen 14 years ago had been found during an investigation into mafia mobsters. Their authentic prosecutor Giovanni Colangelo told the gathered media they found some details that only the original paintings had. Those identifying marks include grains of sand that were blown up from the beach as Van Gogh painted seascape at Scheveningen, one of his first major works. The other painting, Congregation Leaving the Reformed Church in Nuenen, was of the church in the Netherlands where his father was a pastor. Both works together valued at more than £70 million. Pounds. The paintings were stolen in an audacious raid on Amsterdam's Van Gogh Museum in 2002, the thieves using a ladder to access the museum's roof and escaping using a rope. Two men were later convicted, but the paintings remained hidden until now. They were found after police raided a mafia hideout complete with gym and secret room during an investigation into organised crime gangs in Naples. The paintings had had their frames removed but were otherwise in good condition. At uh, the beginning of the week we were informed that two paintings had been found and were asked whether an expert from our museum could come here to identify them. That was the first we heard about it. Van Gogh's works are highly desirable amongst collectors. Here at London's Courtauld Gallery, his paintings taking pride of place. But in the criminal world, they're invaluable bargaining tools. You have this fantasy that there's some rich guy and he loves the painting so much that he's prepared to pay for it after it's been stolen. But actually, I think that's a kind of a Hollywood fantasy. It's not the way things really work. Paintings tend to be stolen to be used as collateral. So they really just go onto the black market and oftentimes they'll never be exhibited. For now, they were only being exhibited for the media and police. But soon the paintings they thought were lost for good were returned to their home in Amsterdam. Nina Nanar, News at 10.